even though I haven't a clue where I come from, I still see a place in my dreams that feels oddly familiar. It's nothing like this land either. Everyone's happy and full of life, despite the monster men is looming large as it does here too. My memories have been flooding back ever since I left Tantagel. I recall being a warrior, one of the land's finest. It seems I was on a journey long before I ended up here. My resolve is now unbreakable. I'm convinced I'm on the right path. I simply need to see this quest through to the end. However, it must be done alone. Living in terror of monsters for so long has drained the people here of all the fight. There are still a few people whose faces I just can't seem to remember. An old man, a kind woman, and a newborn baby. Perhaps they're my kin, or simply those I once held dear. If they are in fact my family, then... How oh, they must resent me for choosing this journey over them. But I don't think I would have done things any differently, even with my current perspective. Regardless, there are more important things for me to be getting on with. The small matter of ending the Lord of the Underworld, for one.
Is... Is somebody there? Seems my eyes and ears are done for, sadly. Oh, praise the goddess. Oh, listen, you probably don't know me, but I need you to pass on a message. I'd been living under a haze until recently, but I remember it all now. I am Ortega of Aliahan. I left behind my dearest wife and newborn to set out on a quest. One that I fear has now reached a premature end. What I wouldn't give to hold my little one's hand. To give them something to remember me by. Oh, my darling child. Oh, you must resent me. The way this journey tore my family apart has long filled me with regret. If only I could have spent more time with them. Sorry. I, I know you're trying to tell me something. It, it, it's, it's just my ears won't hear it. At the very least, I can feel the warmth of your hand on mine. Though, it would have been nice to see the face of the last person I talked to. <laughs> A fine helm indeed. It tells the tale of the long adventure that led you here today. These scratches make it clear it wasn't all plain sailing. But nonetheless, you stood tall. I may have failed as both a father and an adventurer. But I know you can do what I could not. Goddess Speed, my child.
just a moment. So, here you are at long last, here at the place of sacrifice. I am Zoma, bringer of oblivion. All life shall be sacrificed to my glory, all shall despair, all shall kneel. Come, offer yourself unto me now. Arise, my minions! Obliterate them! Let me feast upon their suffering!
truly an honor to be in your presence again. But on this occasion, you will not humiliate me as you did in that infernal tower.
Still, you cling pathetically to life. Ah, it seems only right that I should have the joy of dealing the killing blow myself. Now come, show me how beautifully you die. of sorcery that protect me. It matters not. Come, dash yourselves on the unfeeling shores of my might. done well to defeat me. But whilst there is light, so too must there be darkness. I see that which is to come. Another shall rise and take my place. The omens are already there. Open your eyes. And when he comes, you will be powerless to protect your craven kind, for you will be long dead.
in the royal chamber. News of thy deeds hath reached us, and we have eagerly awaited thy coming. Thou hast done well indeed in smiting dread Zoma, lord of the underworld. That thou art returned to us unharmed is a gift for which we give thanks unto the Almighty. Morning hath broken on our kingdom at last, and all is thanks to thine earnest efforts. Though it seemeth that dread Zoma's demise hath sealed the doorway between our realm and thine own. Alifgard must now take its first steps as a world in its own right. It must emerge, blinking into the dawn of its becoming. All is thanks to thee and thy companions. Thou art a hero without equal. I do hereby bestow upon thee our kingdom's highest honour, the title of Erdrich, which meaneth dwelling land in the ancient tongue, a name befitting the land's chosen hero. Thou shalt be known to all. The story of Erdrich's deeds shall take its place amongst the legends of our realm and shall ring down through the ages.
Your Majesty. Fear not, for I will see that thine offspring grows into a fine leader of the land. I promise, nay I swear, upon my name, the name of... <laughs>